morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas day four. I have you guys pointed as my mirror while I'm doing my makeup so that I can have a chat to you while I'm working on doing my eyeshadow at this current point. I'm using my Balm palette. I love this palette still. It hasn't been like my absolute everyday palette this month like it was in October, but I, I still love it and enjoy using it. So, uh, where are we at? So far this morning, I've gotten up, I've come home, made my daily coffee that I literally cannot live without, made my to-do list in the living room, and then I um, went and had a shower. I washed my hair, so I actually have to do it today, and I fake tanned, hence why I'm wearing my fake tanning dress, slash it's actually a skirt, but I'm wearing it as a dress, and I'm really dark right now, because tonight I am going on the dot-com social TV show, and I am so nervous, but so excited. Really nervous because it's broadcast live, which is very intimidating, but it'll be fine. It'll it'll all be smooth and easy and it'll work. So um, I am just doing my makeup now. Like it's starting to get to late morning. Like I've had a very slow Monday morning. Um, but I'm doing it now because I don't want to do my makeup twice today. And if I do it now, I have plenty of time to make mistakes and plenty of time to mess it up. And then I can like, you know, do my hair and my makeup slowly. I am getting dressed there. I have some dresses to try on once I get there so that I can pick out a cute outfit to wear on the show. They do have like a makeup artist and a hairstylist, but I'm really, really particular with my makeup. So I'm just gonna do all my makeup and hair here and then if I need a touch up or anything, I can do that once I'm there. But yeah, I'm really excited. It's like a half an hour segmented TV show and I'll be interviewed um, at the first part of the TV show just about like social media, my YouTube channel, you guys, all of that kind of stuff. And then in the second half there's another lady who has written a cookbook who is going to be interviewed and we'll be on the couch together just kind of having a little bit of a chat about social media and the things that we do which is really really exciting. Anyways, I'm going to get on with the rest of my makeup so that I can start drying my hair and get on with my hair and then get on with the rest of my day and finish like yesterday's vlog and do a bunch of other stuff. I do really want to make it to the shops today. I want to pick up um, another Christmas themed mug because I just want to add another Christmas themed mug to the collection and oh, I need to go and open today's advent calendar as well. I need to do that like right now. Let's unbox day four. I've actually been using the... Um, facial moisturizer that I got for day three and I actually really like it it's not bad so day four where are you Ooh, it's a big box over here okay what does this one say question which Christmas song did John Lennon and Yoko Ono co-write about peace in 1971 I actually have no idea but I bet when I see it I'm gonna know what it is happy Xmas the war is over yep um, oh, okay, what does this one say? Family time. Spend one hour with a relative today. I wish I could, but... Actually, I really could. If I drove over to my brother's, I would, but I can't. I've got too much to do today. Sorry, guys. I'm going to catch up with you guys at Christmas. All right, so this one is a Body Shop Almond Hand and Nail Cream, um, which looks delicious. I actually need a new hand cream because my last one, I think it's almost run out. If not, it's getting close to being off. So yay, I have a new one. I've just finished blow drying my hair and it's like super fluffy and like 95% dry and I've put, popped on like I'm just a plain black shirt so that it doesn't like mess up my tan but so I can also go out and look normal and not be wearing like a skirt as a dress. Um, but I just got like a, um, the mailman showed up and I have a package and it's from Benefit which I'm really excited about because Benefit is um, taking a few of us to the weekend concert on Friday night, which I'm really excited about. I know that Sinead is going, so she's going to come here first and we're going to get ready together. And they've put together like a little care package for us. And there's this really cute little t-shirt that says Star Gal on it, which I'm so excited. And then there's also a pink bandana to go with it, which is so cute. Um, there's also glow sticks, which this is going to be so much fun. I don't even remember the last time I went to a concert. It has been years. I feel like it was like Lady Gaga like years and years and years and years ago. 
Um, ooh, there's like Alan's lollies. Like this is a deliciously mixed up choc and lolly mix, which is awesome. Ooh, there's freckles and jaffers. I love jaffers. And just a few different lollies in there, so yay. And then there's a few products as well. There is a dandelion uh, highlight, which I do have this highlight and I can actually do with another one. The other one's getting quite used. I love this. It became my everyday highlight for a really long time there. And I really, really like it. Um, there's also a Precisely My Brow Pencil, which I love. Benefit have really, really good brow pencils. Um, I'm using one from Designer Brands at the moment, but I always keep going back to, the, to these. I use these probably four or five of these a year, I swear. Um, and then I also have the Roller Lash, but this is the full size one. I've never tried the full size Roller Lash before, so I'm excited to see how that goes. And I did drop one product. This one is the 24 hour brow setter, so it's just like a brow gel um, to set my eyebrows. Well, wow. I Oh, maybe it's an optical illusion. I feel like the bristles are longer on one side than the other. Maybe they are longer on one side than the other. I don't know. I need to get my eyes checked. Like, I, my eyesight's getting really bad and I really need to check it. So, um, I should probably try and do that. That should be like one of my New Year's resolutions and goals to actually get my eyes tested uh, next year. That's going to be my like number one 2018 goal is getting my eyes tested. But thank you so much for Benefit for all of these little goodies. And I'm so excited for, for Friday. I'm going to take you guys with me. You'll come along to the concert. And we're going to have the best time ever. And I can't wait to hang out with Shanae. It's going to be awesome. I've stopped in really quickly to get some lunch. I'm so hungry. So I'm getting some sushi. This is a spicy tuna rolls with like a spicy mayo as well, and I'm so hungry. I've made it to Kmart and I'm trying to decide what I want to buy. I, um, I really want red, but the only big packets that have lots of mixed ones that have red in it are these ones, and I don't want the green or the gold. I kind of want red and silver, but I don't need this many silver ones, so I think I'll probably just buy a bunch of these ones. I changed my mind, and I've come down to the reject shop because Kmart does not have a very good selection of like tinsel and ornaments. So I've come down to the reject shop to see if I can find some better stuff. Ooh, look, there's so many aisles. Okay, down here, let's have a look at the tinsels and see if they're like big and fluffy. I ended up going back in to Kmart because I think now that it's December, a lot of the stores have sold out of all of the decorations and there's probably no point in getting any more in, otherwise they won't sell. So I got some tinsel at the reject shop. Um, I got silver tinsel. And then in Kmart, I got four packets of like baubles. People on my DIY were like making fun of the way that I said baubles. Like it's B-A-U-B-L-E-S, like it's actually a word. Um, or Christmas. Christmas ornaments if you will but um, I got two no four packets two larger ones that are probably like this big and then two smaller ones um, one silver and one red of each and then I left getting any like unique interesting like individual ornaments until I decorate my tree and decide if I need any more I have some decorations from last year that I can reuse most of my plain like you know bulk packaged baubles um, I actually used in a DIY on my DIY channel if you've not seen my DIY channel I'll have that listed down below um, I have to come up with a new DIY this week something uh, probably decor slash Christmas tree related because I'm finally gonna put my Christmas tree up this week um, but I have actually started to run out of time I need to go home and like curl my hair so I can get ready to go out to the TV show so uh, going home curling my hair I will show you all the things that I bought but we will be putting up the Christmas tree another day because I just do not have time this afternoon so I can't wait to though because it's gonna be super festive and I think I'm gonna put it on like in the living room like on like in the little sectioned off living room it's gonna be so crowded in there but it's just so much cuter and so much cozier there than putting it like in the dining room so 
that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I gotta go home and get started on my hair. So, what I got from Kmart are these sets of baubles. So I've got a silver one and a red one of the smaller ones, and then I also got the larger ones. I was really unsure about the large ones, but we'll see how they look on the Christmas tree. And then I really wanted to get like another Christmas mug, and this one's adorable. I love the Santa, he looks so cute. Like some Santas can be really ugly. Just saying, like, they can be, and this one's really cute, but it is like a, um, a hot chocolate set, and I didn't want the hot chocolate, I just wanted the mug, so I'm probably not going to have the hot chocolate. I just wanted the really cute mug to have my morning coffees in. And then I also found this really adorable, um, like, t-shirt in a size 6. I feel like finding a size 6 in Kmart is almost impossible. They sell out so fast, and it's so cute. It just says Santa's helper, and it's just simple, and like has little antlers on it, and I thought this would be a super cute little t-shirt I could wear to bed and be super festive. I wanted to get some festive pajamas, and I couldn't find any anywhere, so I don't know what the deal is, but um, I got this to be able to wear with some cute shorts that I have as pajamas. And then the only other thing that I got is some silver tinsel. I think I've got like, you know, three, I think they're 3.5 meters each. And I got those from the reject shop. So I'm going to leave these in the little corner here because in the next couple of days, I'm going to put up my Christmas tree. I have to start doing my hair because I'm seriously starting to run out of time. I'm going to curl the entire thing and then kind of brush it through with my fingers. Maybe my hairbrush, it kind of goes really nice wave. So I love doing that. I'm using my Batiste uh, heat and shine spray so that I can protect my hair. And then I'm going to start curling. burnt my hand it hurts so much I need to go and put like cold water or ice on it or something but my hair is done I just need to go and deal with this now I have arrived at the studio and I have three dress options to try on I'll have to show you all of them but I don't know which one I want so I'm gonna try on both of these dresses they are by feather and noise as a beautiful yellow one and beautiful soft pink one Excited. I'm so excited. You know what, give me an Going in and out of being excited and nervous. <laughs> and uh, so what I'm I love. You look beautiful. Thank you. And um, yeah, so pretty much any. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm here with Emmy. Hello! Oh, thank you so much for having me on today's show. You look so beautiful. So do you. How are you feeling? Um, I'm going in between like nervous and excited. I do like, the same thing. But I find that vlogging and Insta storying yep. really, yeah. really relaxes you. What do you reckon? Yeah, like it makes me feel like, I don't know, I don't know why I'm nervous because I talk to the camera all the time. Like yeah. I'm talking to my camera right now. So I feel like, but it's should... live. This is know, live TV. I'm so proud of you. I cannot wait to have you on the Thank show. You so people much. are gonna love it. So er, oh, there's so many people yes. that are excited. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a bit nervous now, but I have to show you guys like the room because it's really cool. Like, yeah, the whole cool. Studio. Go for it. Up. You guys are gonna love the decor. It's yeah, beautiful. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Hey guys. Welcome to Rachel's channel. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm rolling. Hey guys. I don't know what to say. <laughs> You're on TV. I know, this should be like easy for me because I'm always on camera, but it's so different. But these it's these cameras are scary though. They are they huge? Yeah, they are. And I think it's the studio as well. I'm gonna go out of here and focus in on you. I think it's the studio as well. It's a little. I know. I noticed last week. I need to get myself some of these lights, the big LED ones. They're gorgeous. They are so good. I want some of those. Yeah, they, they're really beautiful. I've got a heap of lights actually at home. Heaps of softbox lighting. Yeah, I've got two softboxes and like a ring light. Yeah. I want some more oh, LED lights. Light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so bright. It makes everything look so good in here. <laughs> to our second 
second last episode of Dotcom Social. Wednesday night is our season finale and we'll be filming from Birdie Cider Studios in Port Melbourne. Absolute superstar. A massive round of applause. Oh my goodness, you must be so proud of your YouTube channel. Thank you. It, it, does it not just blow your mind? It does. It's a little bit crazy to think that it's come this far. And, and how long have you had it for? Um, seven. I've been doing YouTube for seven years in January. Seven years. So, since, so you're 27 now. Yes. Actually, that's a good point. Do you, um, that's a good point, Emily Lou. Um, <laughs> do you have a template when you film? Like, I mean, you know, is there something kind of you're following a structure? Yeah. Yeah, so I have usually um, the same sort of introduction. I've actually changed my introduction for Vlogmas right now. I failed at finishing the vlog on the day that I was filming it. Again, I didn't mean to. It's the next day and I'm just finishing up this vlog. Um, Mostly because after like being on the show last night, like after having all that nervous energy, I was just so exhausted. Um, so Dan took me home and we just kind of pretty much went straight to bed and I was able to get a good night's sleep. Um, but I had so much fun. It was an incredible experience to be on the show and um, I had my friend, friend Zahar, who is um, Instagram, I'll leave linked in the description. Um, and Dan was there too and it was just really really nice and the finale show is on Wednesday and I'm going to that as well and I'm just really excited to be a part of it all it was so much fun but at the same time oh my gosh I was so nervous and like all yeah like I said all that nervous energy just drained me but it was so worth it so went home last night went straight to bed and here I am the next day just finishing off the vlog again I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes a habit of mine where every vlog is finished the next day so yeah that's where we're at so hope you guys did enjoy this really long vlog i feel like i'm getting back into the swing of vlogging which makes me so excited and yeah except for finishing them uh up the top here you can check out my last video down the bottom i'll leave a link to another one of my vlogmas videos and i will see you in tomorrow's video bye